Hi children and viewers. In previous video we discussed about the torque acting on a loop in a uniform magnetic field. How the torque is created when a rectangular coil is placed in uniform magnetic field. I clearly explained there and we derived expression for it. So you up to now you didn't see that video just go and watch it after that only you must watch this one because the combination of these two videos is considered as eight mass question in your public exam nations so this is the one of the most important question children now i am going to the topic here that is working of moving coil galvanometer working of moving coil galvanometer children i am clearly telling you must watch the previous video i already named as that particular video as torque acting on a loop in a uniform magnetic field and moving coil galvanometer part one this is the part two so here children what is mean by moving coil galvanometer moving coil galvanometer moving which is moving coil due to the magnetic field due to that galvanometer works okay children simply we have to say moving coil galvanometer is a device that should be used to measure low air currents up to 10 power of minus 9 amperes to measure the small currents in the circuits also we can prefer moving coil galvanometer and this moving coil moving coil galvanometer can be also converted into the ammeter and voltmeter so these are the main uses of moving coil galvanometer and children what is the working principle of moving coil galvanometer you have to know about that moving coil galvanometer working principle is when a coil is placed in uniform magnetic field when a coil is placed in uniform magnetic field the deflection of the coil is directly proportional to the amount of current passes through the same coil clear when a rectangular coil is placed between two poles of a magnet or placed in a magnetic field the deflection of the coil is directly proportional to the amount of current passes through the same coil that should be called working principle of a moving coil galvanometer children so to simply show that theta is proportional to i here theta is the deflection of the coil and i be the amount of current moving in the rectangular coil clear children that is the working principle of moving coil galvanometer and children now we can go for construction of moving coil galvanometer let's go for that okay children so now you have to observe on the first diagram so children this is the first diagram we have there from a rigid support from the rigid support with a prosper branch wire with a prosper branch wire a rectangular coil so these are the rectangular coil i named as p q r s a rectangular coil p q r s that should be placed that should be placed in between two concave shaped magnetic poles that should be placed in two concave shaped magnetic poles in picture what we are finding n and s south pole and this is north pole to get the concave shaped magnetic poles almost all we can prefer horseshoe magnet horseshoe magnet and children n and s in between we are suspending the one rectangular coil p q r s that rectangular coil has n number of turns n number of turns so children to understand the clearly here i am drawing like this this is the rectangular coil clear 
so it has so many number of turns like this so many turns n number of turns are there so that should be p q r s clear children this coil is owns over the non magnetic substance or aluminum clear children if it is the non magnetic frame non magnetic frame on that frame for example this is the coil we are taken and this is the non magnetic substance so on that we are placing the coil should be like this we won't slide this here the black wire what you are finding now it is the rectangular coil what you are taken having n number of turns and that should be placed on the sponge this sponge is here what it is non magnetic substance almost all that is aluminum made up of aluminum that means the rectangular coil what we are taken that should be having so many number of turns that rectangular coil should be owns over a non magnetic substance non magnetic substance clear children so now it is a non magnetic substance and the turns what we are taking that is the rectangular coil children and so here what i am showing here very thick this is what non magnetic frame non magnetic frame on that non magnetic frame we are owns the rectangular coil pqrs and in that frame we have to keep some soft iron cylinder what's that soft iron cylinder that is clear clear it for pqr is the rectangular coil that should be owns over a non magnetic frame made up of aluminum and in that we have to keep what again soft iron cylinder soft iron cylinder okay children so here in this diagram pqrs is the coil and here this one is what non mag where i am drawing a thick line that is the non magnetic frame and in that particular frame we have to keep some soft iron cylinder soft iron cylinder and children lower end of the frame should be given to the one passper branch spring passper branch spring and that will be fitted with the help of the screw here what it is screw clear this is a simply arrangement of moving coil galvanometer see once again children moving coil galvanometer in that a rectangular coil p q r s is owns on a non magnetic frame and that entire thing should be placed in between the two concave shaped magnetic poles and in the in the middle of the non metallic frame or non magnetic substance frame we have to give some soft iron cylinder and after that children the lower end of the frame should be given to one spring and you have to observe that children here here this is the one mirror one mirror should be attached to the passper branch wire clear and this entire thing should be in between the two concave shaped magnetic magnetic poles and children so to avoid the air resistance to avoid the air resistance because of air also maybe the coil will go to be deflect to avoid that to avoid the air resistance the entire thing entire thing should be placed in a brass case evacuated brass case clear and children this is a simply arrangement of the moving coil galvanometer clear children and now here what's happening we have to observe and children in previous video i clearly explain what's that when a coil is placed in between here for example this is the coil 
when a rectangular coil is placed between the poles of a magnet or magnetic field here there is some force acting that should be taken as like this and it is the force acting here there are some forces acting along these sides in opposite directions in opposite directions then obviously the coil is going to be twist clear when a coil is placed between the two poles of a magnet here there are two forces acting along the sides of the rectangular coil due to that the coil will be for example initial now it is a coil it is suspended it is suspended here one force acting along this length and one force is acting along this length when two forces acting along the lens in opposite directions now these forces can makes to rotate they can be simply twist the coil that's why what you have to say torque will be created clear like this okay that's why here when two forces this is the one force and this is the another force when they are acting along the sides in opposite directions then they will makes to rotate the coil that means deflection will be created by the those two forces for that already we derived an expression is there that is tau is equals to i b a n sin theta this is the expression for torque what it is due to the two forces which are acting along p r side and q r side so that's why here the torque will be created that should be given by the equation tau is equals to i b a n sin theta when theta is 90 that should becomes as maximum tau is equals to i b a n clear children so what is children here i means what current where it is the current current in the coil current in the coil and what is here children magnetic field produced by the magnetic induction by radial field radial field here and a is nothing but here area of the coil area of the coil and n means what n is the number of turns in the coil number of turns in the coil tau is equals to i b a n tau is what torque and i means amount of current in the coil b means magnetic induction by the radial field and a is the area and n means number of turns and children here one word we observe what is radial magnetic induction created by the radial magnetic field so children here why what is the necessity of taking of concave shaped magnetic poles concave shaped magnetic poles means when we are taken a concave shaped magnetic fields then radial magnetic field will be created radial magnetic field will be created so children in the frame what we have id is there soft iron will be there clear that's why this metallic frame and soft iron must be along must be always in the parallel to the direction of the magnetic field direction of the magnetic field that means due to the concave shaped poles due to the concave shaped poles radial magnetic field will be developed and the soft iron cylinder what it is there that should be always tries to be in the direction of magnetic field radial magnetic field clear the soft iron cylinder must be always in the direction of radial magnetic field for that purpose only we have to use the concave shaped magnetic field simply here we are showing that this is the one soft iron cylinder and you can take like this it is what it is diameter radially and like this so that means the soft iron cylinder must be always in the direction of radial magnetic field that should be shown simply like this diagram so this is the soft iron cylinder and we are showing like this so 
so simply here why we are when we are using the concave shape of poles the magnetic field should be radial okay children so when here children when a coil is suspended between the two magnetic poles means here the coil is in the now radial magnetic field clear children why we are using the two concave shaped magnetic poles means when we are taken concave shaped poles means here in between these two uniform magnetic field is created clear uniform magnetic field is exists between the two concave shaped magnetic fields and the soft iron cylinder what we are taken that should be always in the direction of radial magnetic field clear so that's why we can prefer r shoe magnet okay children when the coil is suspended in between these two poles obviously the coil is in uniform magnetic field when the coil is in uniform magnetic field the couple will be formed or torque will be created and the torque is what we we can take t is equals to i b a n clear children to understand the how the torque will be created already i uploaded one video previous video you must watch it then only you will get how we are getting the tau is equals to i b a n sin theta that's why you have to watch the previous video compulsory so tau is equals to i b a n clear when the coil is suspended between the two poles of a magnet torque is created this should be taken as i b a n sin theta here when torque is maximum we will write tau is equals to i b a n Children, and for example, now just imagine this is now coil, rectangular coil. Initially, when we are suspended like this, it is the suspended like this here. Clear? After the introducing in between the poles of a magnet, automatically that should be goes like this. Initially, it should be like this, and now it is twisted, twisted like this. Okay? Initially, it should be seems like plane. Now it is twisted. plane twisted so because of torque only that is going to this side clear and according to the its elastic properties that should be coming again back so that elasticity is nothing but because of restoring force restoring force got my point children initially it should be there and due to the torque that should be like this coming like this and after that again due to restoring force that should be coming clear children so like that here when the coil is placed between the magnetic fields the torque is what tau is equals to b i a n and due to that what you have to say here initially the coil should be like this okay after torque that should becomes like this so it is a display now it is a make some angle that is here theta clear so initial it is now here like this and after some time due to the magnetic field that should be deflects like this clear so it will make some angle theta here again what i am telling due to the elastic that should be coming again we have to same situation so that's why here that is what we call restoring couple so here the restoring couple is nothing but here restoring couple can be written as here c theta clear due to the torque that should be twisted and again due to the restoring torque that should be untwisted as it is said and x is untwisted that means here untwisted means what it is again coming to the original condition clear that's why here torque is b i a n and restoring couple is c theta equation number 2 okay children at equilibrium condition at equilibrium condition at equilibrium condition we can write b i a n is equals to c theta or c theta is equals to b i a n here from the ordinary writing children i is equals to c by b a n i is equals to c by b i n theta that means here 
what is c couple constant b is what magnetic connection because it is uniform magnetic field it is constant a also con a is constant n is number of turns is constant constant then we will write children i is proportional to theta or theta is proportional to i theta is proportional to i that means here children when i is equals to c b c by b a and theta here this term should be constant that should be written as some k so i am writing simply this is i is equals to k into theta k value is what c by b a n i is equals to c by b a n theta and this should be this term be again as constant then i is equals to k theta and i is proportional to theta so this is the working principle of moving coil galvanometer moving coil galvanometer children i is proportional to theta the deflection made by the coil should be the deflection made by the coil should be is directly proportional to the amount of current in the coil this is the working principle of moving coil galvanometer children and here in this case you have to observe here what is the necessity of this mirror and how we can find out the angle of deflection angle of deflection children in front of this moving coil galvanometer we have to arrange one scale we have to arrange the one scale behind the scale we will arrange one light clear watch carefully for example so here some mc moving coil galvanometer is there in front of that we have to arrange one scale we have to arrange one scale that should be having some readings clear so generally this is called lamp scale method lamp scale method so to understand that we are in our lab we will discuss for example when the mirror is if there is no deflection if there is simply it is there then the light will be focused at particular one point clear when the coil is at steady condition the light is focused at one point clear and after that when it is deflected and the location of light should be shifted when there is no deflection of the coil initially the reflection made on the if you can focus the light on the mirror that should be incident at particular a position clear already light is here just imagine light should be focused on the mirror that should be reflected and that should be coming to this point a and if there is no change in position of the light when the coil is placed in the magnetic field and that should be twisted when it is twisted the position of the mirror also changes then the light is continuously makes to fall on the mirror and the mirror should be changes and the location of this one also twisted that's why here the ray of light should be different and now there is some angle that should be taken as angle of deflection it is the initial position of the light incident and when it is the coil is twisted that should be placed at some other place and then the angle between these two is called angle of deflection so in this way children we will find out the angle by using the lamp scale method angle is nothing but deflection of the coil so this is children about the moving coil galvanometer see one second children moving coil galvanometer is a device that should be used to measure low currents and this galvanometer can be used to convert into the voltmeter and ammeter clear and in what is the working principle of moving coil galvanometer when the rectangular coil is placed between the concave shaped magnetic fields magnetic poles then the deflection made by the coil is directly proportional to the amount of current passes through the rectangular coil and children simply construction it is the one torsion pass pass per branch while it is there from the torsional head we are suspended the rectangular coil with the help of pass per branch wire 
and the rectangular coil has a number of turns and these turns must be owns on a non-metallic frame and in between the non-metallic frame we have to give one soft iron cylinder and for this passport branch wire a mirror m is attached and lower end of the spring is, lower end of the frame should be given to the another spring with the help of the screw this is the construction okay children and after that this entire thing should be placed in between the two concave shaped holes of magnet so due to that only that should be in, in the uniform magnetic field and after the while children when it is placed in the magnetic field there is some torque is created that is what iban clear iban is the torque created in the rectangular coil and after the children due to the elastic properties of the that particular coil that should be again coming to the same position that should be called as restoring couple that is c theta so at the equilibrium condition c theta is equals to b i a n from that what you write i is equals to c by b a n theta that means i is proportional to theta so this is simply about the working principle of moving coil or diameter i is proportional to theta and children the deflection of the coil should be measured by using the lamp scale arrangement so this is no need to go very de deeply about the lamp scale method simply you have to write theta is what the deflection made by the coil and that should be measured with the help of the lamp scale method children i hope you understand this is about the information about the moving coil galvanometer we will meet in the next video with some other interesting topic bye take care